What is up, everybody? This is Andy Storch, and I'm coming to you with a short message today. Uh, I want to share three questions you can ask when things don't go your way, which you know, if you've been alive for a little while, is going to happen, right? If you are an ambitious person trying to do a lot of things, uh, you are going to uh, set big goals. You're going to start taking action on stuff. You're going to make big up, plans, and you know yeah. that uh, at some point, things are, challenges are going to pop up or things are going to go wrong, or they're just not going to go your way. And you've got to decide how you deal with that. Do you get really upset? Do you get frustrated? Do you get angry? Do you complain? Um, or do you deal with it, learn from it and move on? And there's three questions that I often ask that I have learned from other people that I love uh, talking about teaching to other people because uh, I find that they can be, they, they're really helpful for me. And I'll tell you why I thought of these last night and why they're useful. The first question is always, what can I learn from this? You know, if something didn't go your way, maybe there was something you could have done to prevent that mistake, prevent that accident or prevent the thing that happened. Um, oftentimes that's the case, right? If you get uh, stuck in traffic and you're late for a meeting, what can I learn from this? Well, I could have left earlier, right? I could have canceled an earlier meeting and left earlier. I could have made this a higher priority, right? Maybe next time I'll leave earlier. Maybe next time I'll take a different route, right? The two bigger questions that I think are really helpful when things are outside of your control uh, are what does this or what is great about this and what does this make possible? And these two questions go together. You can ask one or the other or both, but oftentimes when things don't go your way, you can ask yourself, well, what is great about this? What does this make possible? And I'll give you a couple quick examples from this week, and then you can think about your own. Uh, one of my coaching clients, uh, Rosie, messaged me last night, and she was talking about how she was very upset because she had planned to go to this big live event. And uh, speaking of traffic, it was really bad, and she wasn't able to make it there. And she had been really upset about not making it because she had been looking forward to going to this event for a long time. And I can certainly relate to that. I go to a lot of conferences and events, and I've also missed a few this year, trips and different things, um, because stuff has come up that was outside of my control and prevented me from going. And I was upset or frustrated in the moment. But I asked her, you know, what is that? What did what did that make possible for you? And she said, Well, I was able to go home and see my kids before they went to bed. My son was really happy to see me. I got to give him a hug and spend time with him. And that's something that she wouldn't be able to do otherwise. And so I said, you know, maybe you were meant to, uh, you were meant to be there that night with your kids. Maybe there was a reason why you weren't able to make it to the event. And what that made possible was that you were able to spend more time with your kids. And I have a very similar example from this week, this day, almost this hour, if you have been following me for a while, you know me, you know that my friend Bennett Phillips and I are hosting our first ever conference called the Talent Development Think Tank. We have been marketing this thing since we launched it back in, I don't know, announced it back in May or April. So it has been like six months of hardcore marketing. And we were, uh, I think, very successful and we sold the conference out a month ahead of time. We were really excited about this. We had great speakers lined up, some awesome people coming. And that conference was scheduled to kick off with our opening keynote, Josh Burson, almost at this very hour today, right now at 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. Pacific time today, Wednesday, uh, June, uh, November 6th. And it's not happening. As you can see, I'm in my home office. And that is because of the Kincaid wildfires in Sonoma. We had to postpone, we decided to postpone the conference because of the wildfires. And now, the, the hotel is back open today. The wildfires have receded. It's possible we could be hosting a conference there today, but we didn't know that. We had to make the right decision to postpone. And so it's easy to get caught up with the frustration of, ah, these wildfires got in my way, prevented me from having this great conference that I was planning on. I was really excited about it. And then this happened. Woe is me. Why does this happen to me? Right. But we know these things are going to happen in life. Challenges are going to come up. Bad things are going to happen. Things are going to get in your way. And the questions I ask, like I said, what is great about this and what does this make possible? So let me tell you what is great about this. I have got to be home this week with my kids. My wife went out of town and she got to spend some time with friends that she wouldn't have gotten to do otherwise. And I've got to spend great quality time with my kids this week. I had lunch at my daughter's school yesterday, which I've never done before. I didn't even know I could do. And then I found out um, that wouldn't have happened if I was in California. 
Um, I got to spend some quality time with them last night and this morning. Uh, and I was thinking about that as we were playing last night, that this would not have happened if I was at the conference. So what did this make possible? I'm also going to be facilitating a workshop for a colleague to help them out later today here in Orlando. And I wouldn't have got a chance to do that and impact the lives of the managers in that room to teach them how to become more uh, multipliers and improve their career as managers and leaders. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do that. And uh, I wouldn't have been able to you know, spend time and do the things that I've been doing this week. I also had some really great uh, client calls and sales calls uh, yesterday and the day before that also would not have happened if I had been at the conference. So what does this make possible? It makes, uh, it, it's great that, or sorry, it's great because I got to do these things. I got to spend time with my kids. And what does this make possible? We're working on rescheduling the conference to uh, January. We're still waiting from the hotel to finalize the dates, hopefully this week. And we are hopeful it's going to open up more space and we'll be able to sell even more tickets and uh, provide a bigger conference to even more great people who come. And so I'm, if that comes through, then it will have absolutely been an opportunity and a blessing in disguise and created a great opportunity. Now, not all challenges, disasters are blessings in disguise, but you can always ask, what is great about this? What does this make possible? What can I learn from this? And that will turn your mindset around and help you get through these challenges. I hope that was helpful for you. And uh, thanks for joining. Have an awesome week.